Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to show you how easy it is to add a skills chart to your resume. Now, this happens a lot with students that are uh, taking IT courses. They don't have a lot of work experience, but they still want to build up that nice looking resume. And a skills chart is one way to go about emphasizing some skills that you have without work experience and also taking up a nice visual part of the resume and drawing attention to the specific skills that an employer might be looking for. As an example, I've got an internship part-time job opportunity here from a, a firm here in Oregon, and we've placed an intern with them before. They've been happy with it, so they're looking for somebody else. And they've got some specific skills they're looking for. This is a WordPress website builder builder job, so they're looking for a WordPress page builder experience, Elementor I know. I have not heard of Beaver Builder before. Uh, so a lot of WordPress related stuff, HTML, CSS skills, uh, Bootstrap, kind of like a JavaScript add-on to make a page mobile friendly. FTP, file transfer skills, web hosting skills, things like that, WooCommerce for e-commerce development and stuff. So they've got a number of skills here. And let's say you're a student and you're looking for employment or an internship and you want to emphasize these skills. What I'm going to do here is jump over to Microsoft Word and I'm going to create a blank document. I'm not even using a resume template. Really quickly, I'm just going to do a layout, uh, margins, I'm going to give myself some and I'll do moderate margins. Then I'm going to head over to Home. Now I take that back. I'm going to go to Insert, Table, and I'm going to draw a table. You may never have used that draw a table, but what I'm going to do is create a really quick resume layout. And I'm going to draw kind of a big box here going from margin to margin. That's going to represent my outer boundary. I'll draw a line going across the top. That's where my name and email address would go. Um, I'll draw a column down the left here. And then I'll just have, oops, I'll have a few horizontal divider lines kind of breaking up my sections. So you might be wondering, okay, well, what would I do with this? Well, I'm going to click on Draw Table to turn that feature off. Well, what I would probably have over here, jump back over to Home Ribbon, and I'll make this a Heading 2. This is where I could start to focus on. This is my education. That's the kind of stuff I would have in there. Um, maybe I've got a section in here for projects that I've been working on and that's going to be good especially for students without work experience and let me go ahead and uh, make that a heading too because then you can kind of link over to your code pen stuff maybe your github stuff maybe your personal portfolio web page stuff so so you can demonstrate that you have been doing some hands-on things with the skills that you want to emphasize now you might also have a place for work experience and a lot of students are hesitant to put down their non-IT related jobs on these work experience kinds of things. But put that stuff down, but for the bulleted list or for the list of skills that you have, focus on the things that all kinds of employers want. They want the teamwork ability. They want the communication skills. They want the ability for you to explain concepts to customers or to other team members and things like that. Focus on those skills, even if you feel like your job or your work experience is way outside of the realm of the work that you're looking for. And then last but not least, I want to create a section here for skills. Now in this skills area, I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to insert a chart. Now I want to do a bar chart. I want it to be horizontal. So I'm going to do a bar chart, standard custom, clustered column is fine, or clustered bar. I'll click OK, and that gives me this little baby Excel interface to work with. Now right away, I'm going to delete series two and three. I only need series one. Now what I would put in these categories here, I would put in the names of the key skills that I want to emphasize. Uh, skill number one, skill number two. Maybe I got some JavaScript skills in there. Maybe I've got some HTML skills in there. And if it looks like it's getting to the end of the list and you want to incorporate that into the list, easiest thing to do is just to right click on any one of these row numbers and then insert. Now you don't want to go too crazy. You don't want to have like um, 10 different skills listed here. You don't want this to be half of your resume, but I could have some other skills in here. Five, six. I'm not going to worry about the order, but you could obviously arrange the order easy enough. Now, what do you put for the values? For the values, you're going to put uh, numbers uh, between zero and one because we're going to change these to percentages. So a one, which would be 100%, would be a skill that you feel like you have got it mastered. Maybe skill one, I've got mastered, so that's a one. Skill two is going to be a 0.8 or 80%. 
0.7. Maybe there's stuff I've started, 0.5, and then I'll go to this other one. This will be a 0.9. So I've got a variety of skills um, numbered 0 through 1. Notice I didn't really, the lowest I've got on there is 0.4. If you don't think you are at least okay with the skill, don't even put it on the list. And ideally, these would be the skills that also correspond to things you've seen on the job posting, on the internship posting. Now, of course, these percentages are pretty arbitrary, so you just need to be honest with yourself, hence honest with your potential employer, that if I'm labeling myself as a 1 or 100%, then I feel really confident about that particular skill. Uh, I'm not worried about answering questions about it. I'm not worried about demonstrating it in a skills assessment or something like that. If there's a little bit of hesitation, then start to look, you know, rank yourself a little bit lower. Maybe it's a 0.8 or a 0.9. If it's something you just started, well, then give yourself a lower score, but not so low that it's uh, not even worth mentioning. Okay, so I feel pretty good about that. And you'll see that my chart is starting to display on my resume. Now, I'm going to keep this little Excel spreadsheet off to the side so I can work with it. But what I want to do in the next video is I want to adjust this chart in my Word document so that it looks a little bit more presentable and I start to emphasize these percentage values a little bit. So stick with me in the next video and we'll clean up this chart and make it pop a little bit better. Thanks for hanging out with me.